Movie theaters have survived television, video games, and the internet. But can they survive all three combined? Enter the Apple Vision Pro, a head-mounted computer that lets you watch, play, and browse all within a home theater setup. There's plenty of ways to improve a 100-year-old format, so what did Apple choose to update, and can it compete with traditional cinema? First, watching a movie through the headset cuts out visual distractions. My blood boils when people check their phones or leave their seats in the middle of a scene. By giving me the control to resize a screen and apparently dial in a virtual background, those issues disappear. That satisfies my immersion, which enables a more personal experience. Just look at the comfort they advertise. Adjustments for eyesight, custom fitted headbands, a portable battery solution. Everything's optimized for me to connect with this device as simply as my laptop would. It also solves another issue movie theaters face, maintenance. Faded projection screens, flimsy chairs, faulty speakers, the Vision Pro works around those problems. I can sit in the best seats with the best resolution image every time. But I'm no fanboy, so let's balance the pros with some cons. I fail to see how the audio of the Vision Pro doesn't bleed out to anyone around me. Apple claims to have amazing directional sound, yet there are no physical earbuds or headphone cups to isolate it. Inversely, audible distractions from the real world would interrupt my movie watching. Don't forget physical fatigue from wearing the headset as well as eye strain from super close screen time. Then there's the issue of streaming, which relies on my Wi-Fi or data plan, and maybe worst of all, unskippable ads inches away from my eyeballs. Those aren't improvements to the theater, they're downgrades. Finally, it doesn't capture that sense of community found at the cinema. The energy of an event. When real conversations are held, people commit to a night out, it's a plan, a date, where memories are made. So Apple Vision Pro isn't seriously competing with modern cinemas. I mean, it's designed to be a device companion, not a replacement. Or so I thought, until I watched Demi Lee's video on mixed reality. As an architect, she explored the role technology plays in our lifestyles, which Apple knows all about because they sell the idea of lifestyle through their products. Most people would use Vision Pro at home, and if it works as well as they claim, then the real victim won't be theaters. It'll be TVs. In fact, TV has been the focal point of our living rooms for decades. But what if TVs become obsolete? Everyone plugs into their own entertainment, or if you want to have a shared viewing experience, plug into a device that syncs all of your movies. This headset could easily replace TVs. It requires less cables, less space, and less power. Plus, when it's not in use, it's still an aesthetic piece of home decor, just like televisions. So maybe I've been asking the wrong question all along. Movie theaters will survive the Vision Pro, but home theaters might not. Pair this headset with good headphones, and you save tons of money and time setting up your personal cinema. I believe as virtual and augmented reality becomes more accessible, televisions will be replaced. What do you think? Let me know in the comments, and thanks for watching.